What is good everybody, this is Koza and welcome back to another 2K Lab video. Now if you don't know by now, your dribble style holds all of your explosive speed boosting animations as a ball handler. So it's important to know the pros and cons of each dribble style within the game to find the one that best fits you. So in today's video, we tested every dribble style within the game and put them inside of a tier list to help you guys out there while you're hooping. So drop a like on today's video, subscribe to the channel for more daily 2K content like this and let's go ahead and get into it. Now starting off with the dribble style tier list, we are starting with the basic dribble style, which has no requirements. Now having no requirements, this has every worst animation within the game. You guys should only have this equipped if you guys are a big man and can't unlock anything else. That's going all the way down into the D tier. Now up next, we have the normal dribble style, which just requires a 40 speed with ball. So even big men can get this. Now it doesn't have the best speed boost towards the ball hand, but the cross launch animation with the normal dribble style is pretty decent. The long cross with the speed behind it, especially on big man builds, can be very useful, so we're putting it in the B tier. Up next, let's talk about the pro dribble style, which just actually does have a 70 speed with ball requirement, but some builds are glitched with it. Now, there's a few big reasons why people love the pro dribble style. It has a good speed boost towards the ball hand, it has a decent cross launch, but if you go diagonally backwards, you can get a really nice speed boost animation. This is one of the dribble styles that's pretty much all around and doesn't have any bad animations with it and especially if you can learn how to use it you can be pretty deadly now on to the kobe bryant dribble style this one is criminally underrated now his speed boost towards the ball handle is pretty average for those wing players but it's his cross launch that gets insane it is pretty costly with the 88 speed with ball requirement but looking at his cross launch with the fast crossover animation i'm surprised a lot of people don't aim for this dribble style so although we don't see this dribble style a lot within the game we are going to put this dribble style in the a tier and up next we have kevin durant again requiring a 75 five speed with ball with no height requirement now he doesn't have the best speed boost towards the ball hand and he doesn't have the best cross launch animation although it's not bad but he still gets that pro dribble style diagonal back animation that you guys see here so being decent all around but also getting that pro dribble style diagonal back animation we're gonna throw him in the b tier up next is james harden requiring a 75 speed with ball and you guys have to be under 610 now this is one of the worst dribble styles in the game he has this slow sluggish speed boost towards the ball hand and also a very slow cross launch animation animation so compared to what else you can get we're gonna throw him in the d tier now up next is the Kyrie irving the very popular Kyrie irving which requires you to be under 6'5 and have a 90 speed with ball this dribble style is so popular because his speed boost to the ball hand is the fastest in the game his cross launch animation isn't terrible either but whenever the comp meta guards get a hold of this dribble style and they start comboing into the speed boost towards the ball hand it can get pretty deadly and they can look extremely fast on the court so this is the top dribble style we are gonna put him in the s tier up next we have a fairly new dribble style it's the Allen Iverson dribble style used to be under 6'5 with at least an 85 speed with ball now his speed boost towards the ball hand is nothing great but his cross launch is pretty nice he gets almost like a magic johnson like speed boost on his cross launch animation so if you're mainly using the cross launch animation this could be a decent dribble style we're gonna put him in the b tier up next is the lebron james dribble style you need a 75 speed with ball and you have to be under 6'10 to get this dribble style now his speed boost towards the ball hand is all right and his cross launch animation isn't slow either so it's another one of those all around dribble styles but he doesn't get the diagonal back animation that the pro dribble style gets so i would say pro dribble style is better so we're gonna put him in the b tier now up next is the popular magic johnson that recently just got nerfed going into season four his speed boost towards the ball hand has always been terribly slow but now his cross launch animation gives you a little hesitation before the cross launch animation plays out so there's used to be an a to s tier dribble style but now we're gonna put him in the b tier since he got nerfed although it's still a very usable dribble style now up next is zach Levine needing a 75 speed with ball and of course again being under 610 his speed boost towards the ball hand is pretty average or mediocre and his cross launch animation isn't that bad either it's just not more popularly used because a lot of people have been leaning on that magic johnson so another all around average dribble style nothing too crazy we're gonna have to go ahead and throw him in the b tier but it could be a nice replacement for the magic johnson post season four now up next is damian lillard you have to be under 65 with a 90 speed with ball now i don't understand why his requirement is so high because
because his dribble style is pretty mid. His speed boost towards the ball hand actually isn't too bad, but it's his cross launch animation that has a delayed speed boost to it. Now the dribble style itself isn't too bad, but it's competitors at that 90 speed will ball, I couldn't imagine going with his dribble style above something like Kyrie Irving. So considering its requirement, we're going to throw him in the C tier. Now up next is John Morant. You guys have to be under 6'10 with an 85 speed will ball. Another dribble style with the extremely sluggish and slow speed boost towards the ball hand and his cross launch animation doesn't make up for the lack of speed boost towards the ball hand. While it still may be usable for the cross launch animation, I would put this into a C to D tier dribble style. Up next, a small guard dribble style. Steve Nash, you guys have to be under 6'5 with an 83 speed will ball. Now this one for small guards isn't necessarily a bad option. Has a decent speed boost towards the ball hand and has that normal cross launch animation that a lot of people like. So we're going to go ahead and throw him into that middle B tier. Now this next dribble style is something that I actually wouldn't recommend for the small guards and that is the John Stockton. You need a 75 ball handle and you guys have to be under 6'5 to unlock this dribble style. Not only is his speed boost towards the ball hand kind of bad, but his cross launch is one of the worst cross launches within the game. So we went ahead and threw him into the bottom D tier because there's a lot of better options out there when it comes to dribble styles. Now up next we have Augustus. Now this one again has one of the worst speed boosts to the ball hand. It has that Magic Johnson type speed boost towards the ball hand but our cross launch gets that normal cross launch animation which isn't too bad. So this one's 50-50. We went ahead and threw her into the C tier. I would just ultimately recommend normal dribble style over that one. Now on to Chelsea Gray. You need a 40 speed with ball and you have to be under 6'10". Now this one has the worst animation to speed boost towards the ball hand and has the worst cross launch animation so it has the worst of both worlds again another dribble style that is one of the worst in the game so we went ahead and threw her into the bottom d tier up next another 40 speed with ball threshold and you guys have to be under 610 to use this now this one isn't too bad her speed boost towards the ball hand really isn't that bad and she gets the pro cross launch animation she doesn't get the pro diagonal behind the back speed boost animation so she misses out on that but all around her dribble style really isn't that bad you know considering the speed boost towards the ball hand and the cross launch we went ahead and threw her into the c tier because i don't think she hangs with the B tier, but it's not really a bad option. Up next, Gabby Williams. Again, the same requirement, 40 speed with ball. Now, this one doesn't have the worst speed boost towards the ball hand, and it has the John Morant cross launch animation, which is kind of mid, but it isn't bad either. We're going to go ahead and throw her into the C tier. Now, we're getting into some of the better dribble styles within the game of 2K24. Stephen Curry dribble style, you guys need a 92 speed with ball, which is pretty costly in the builder, and you guys have to be under 6.5. Now, a speed boost towards the ball hand really isn't that bad, but it says cross launch animation that looks pretty fast in my eyes. I'm actually surprised that this isn't a mainstream popular dribble style within the game. We went ahead and threw him into the A tier. Although it's costly, it's a really good move to have. Another costly dribble style is the Trey Young with the 92 speed will ball. Again, you guys have to be under 6'5". Now this one is nowhere near as good as Stephen Curry in my eyes. His speed boost towards the ball hand really isn't that bad, but he has a delayed speed boost towards the cross launch. And the thing about his delayed cross launch is it gives the defender more time to read or catch up to his animation. So we're going to go ahead and throw him into the middle B tier. Now the dribble style that was super popular last year Michael Jordan dribble style you need an 89 speed with ball and you guys have to hit starter three on your rep bar now his speed boost towards the ball hand got nerfed but his cross launch animation this year looks lightning fast he has a super fast crossover and then sprints and explodes out of that move I myself can't wait to unlock this move we're gonna go ahead and throw him into that a tier now up next this dribble style has yet to be released so we do not know the requirements but the Devin Booker dribble style his speed boost towards the ball handle was pretty average it's his cross launch animation that catches people's eyes. I imagine this will be a very popular dribble style that people start going with whenever it drops, especially considering that Magic Johnson just got nerfed. So we're going to go ahead and put him comfortably into that A tier, and this is the final product of the new updated dribble style tier list. Let me know what you guys think about this tier list, and comment down below anything that you guys would change on my dribble style tier list. We hope this video helped you guys whenever you guys are choosing your dribble style animation, and if we did, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more helpful daily 2K content like this. And as always, it's been Koza, and I'll catch y'all boys in the next one.